be praised. And we know that God don't change, but we change. But if we in him, we don't change. Amen. Amen. God truly is a good God. Uh, you know, God has a uh, funny way of chastising his people. But he said those I chastise, he loved, he chastised, and he rebuked them, right? Amen. Amen. So we come in here and we get fed the word and everything. And then we go out there and people got all kind of issues, circumstances, and situations that... But we have to give them what the word says because God's word is truth. Amen. Amen. Um, when I, I'm just going to pass Willis, yes, excuse me. Since I've been gone, I thought God was going to have me in a sabbatical. Everybody know what that is, right? Yeah. A lock in shit. Yeah. But he, I would be in and I would be out. Now, everybody can't do this. He had me to delete my messenger off of my cell phone. I said, oh, wow. I don't have no cable. I don't have no internet. That means I ain't watching TV because ain't nothing on there anyway. We got to be careful what we hear and what we see and who we hear and, and I'm going to say and who we see. But God truly is a good God. And so this is Sister Paulette. It's like he, not, he stripped me down just to be before him. Amen. Amen. So God truly is a good God. He alone is worthy to be prayed. And you know, when we come in here, we should give him praise, glory, and honor. Amen. Because truly God is a good God. He a good God. And we got to stay connected. Because that's Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the true God. So it's a lot of things we get connected to. A lot of distractions and stuff to get us unfocused to reading God's word. Because that's what the enemy don't want us to do. He don't want us to speak, speak the word. He don't want us to read the word. He don't want us to suck. Because I could call out all these distractions that would distract us. Amen. But I know he took, he took him, he shipped, he shivered him off Sister Paulette. I'm talking about me now. I, don't, I know everybody can't be disciplined like that, but I know what he told me. Amen. So let's just pray and, and, and uh, to God this morning. Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity yeah. to, to just come before your people, Lord God. And we know your word is spirit and your word is life, Lord God. So help us, Lord God, to speak. Situations and circumstances come, family. Family, finances, finances, Lord God, help us to speak the word, because it's only one. And Jesus is the word, because everything we need, including peace, joy, forgiveness, meekness, long-suffering, patience, is in the man, Jesus. And Lord God, for that, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you see our yesterdays, and you said you forgive us of our sins, Lord God. And yes. Lord God, you said you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Lord God, we know that you're faithful and you're a just God, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the families that's here represented. We thank you for the ones that's on their way, Lord God. Yes. We thank you that they're coming from the south, the east, the north, and the west, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are faithful, God. Lord God, your word is spirit and your word is life and your word is truth. Lord God, help us to just obey what the word says when, we, when you tell us to do something. Because everyone in here is a you. Yes. And we know that you speak to each and every one of us different, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you uh, for the pastors, the shepherds of this house, Lord God. We thank you. We pray for the helpmates, Lord God. We pray for their strength in their bodies, Lord God. We pray for their strength in their minds, Lord God. We help us to have the mind of Christ, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your spirit. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your peace, Lord God. And we know that your presence, Lord God, you're everywhere, Lord God. When we leave here, you're going to be here. We're going to be there. Where we are, where we go, we, you're going to be there, Lord God. And for that, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your patience with us, your long suffering with us, Lord God. And then, Lord God, you say, by this, what, Lord? By this shall all men love, by the love you have one for another, Lord God. Help us to love one another, Lord God. In spite of us, uh, Lord God, help us to love, help us to crucify this flesh daily, Lord God. Yeah. Take it away from something that it loved to do or something that it loved to watch or something that it loved to, to just hear, Lord God. And let us not put everything in our ears, Lord God. And for that, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you. You said as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And if sons, then heirs of God and then joint heirs with Christ. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God. 
that we are joint heirs and whatever got, Jesus got, we got. Because if we're inside of him, Lord God, we ought to be able to see, we ought to be able to hear what thus If you 
shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I like that part that say your labor is not in vain. Because sometimes we feel like we doing it and we doing it and we doing it, but ain't nothing happening. But it is something happening. We just got to be obedient. And in our obedience, hallelujah, in our obedience, God is making miracles right in the midst of it that we can't see yet. Hallelujah. But he's doing it. He's doing it. Amen. You know why I know he's doing it? Because he said all things work together for good yes. to them that love the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And are the cause according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. That means the good things are working together for my good. Hallelujah. The bad things are working yes. together for my Thank good. You. All things all are working things. together Hallelujah. for my good. Hallelujah. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will praise thee, O Lord. I will praise thee, O Lord. I will praise thee, O Lord, with a heart of is just our lifestyle, how we live. Our lifestyle should be praising God at all times. The way we walk, the way we talk, the way we dress, the way we run, our mannerisms, our voice, our empathy, our love, our joy, our peace, all of that, hallelujah, should be a testimony of the goodness of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Joshua might have 
might not remember this. You remember this? You'll, you'll get it. He'll remember sure this. He grew up singing these songs with us. And I just said, you know what? You're going to sing and bless the Lord today because we've been praying for the saints to come back into the house. praise him enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They haven't even made the word yet to describe his goodness. Hallelujah. It ain't enough doctors of theology to come up with a word to describe the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be reading from the book of Romans. Hallelujah. The letter of Paul, the apostle, to the saints Hallelujah. Yes, Chapter 1, verse 1 of yeah. Romans says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, yeah. which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Yes, verse 3, concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David yeah. according to the flesh and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations yes, for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. Amen. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, 
that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. Yes. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to you, to the end you may be established. Amen. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Hmm. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was led hitherto, that I might have some fruit among you, Amen. also even as among other Gentiles. Amen. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as is in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The Lord has blessed his word. Good morning, Saints. Good morning. I've been away for a moment, but it feels good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. This morning, I'll be reading you uh, Psalms, the 35th chapter. Amen. Excuse me, forgive me. Psalms, the 34th chapter. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Amen. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them, about them that fear him and delivered them. O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Amen. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Amen. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, yes. and his ears are open unto their cry. Amen. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, mm. to cut off the remembrance of them from the yes. earth. The righteous shall cry, mm. and the Lord heareth. Yes and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Amen. The Lord is nigh unto them that are brokenhearted, yes. and saveth such as be of the contrite spirit. Yes. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of all of, out of them all. Yes, he keepeth all his bones not. One of them is broken. Amen. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of the servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Amen. Blessed be the reading of the word. Amen. Good morning, Good morning saints. Good morning. 
I'll be reading Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, yes. from which cometh my help. That's it. My help cometh from the Lord, mm -hmm. which made heaven and earth. Amen. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Amen. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yes. The Lord is thy keeper. Mm -hmm. The Lord is thy shade upon mm -hmm. thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Yeah. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise Amen. Amen. Morning, church. Morning. I'll be reading from Psalms 119, starting with the 33rd verse to the 40th. Amen. 33rd verse to the 40th. Okay. Praise God. Yeah. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statute, and I, I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with I shall, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments. Yes, For then do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covenants. Mm -hmm. Turn away my eyes from being, Amen, being holding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. Yes. Establish the word unto a servant who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear for thy judgments are good. Amen. Behold, I have long after, after thy precepts, precepts quicken me in thy righteousness. Amen. That'll be the reason Amen. Psalms 119. Come on, praise God. God is so good. Yes, it is. I tell you, he's so good. Amen. Amen. Everything is in order. Amen. Amen. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Everything is in order. When God the Holy Spirit is here with us, the Bible says there is freedom, liberty. Amen. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the praise team. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the reading of his word. Amen. Prayer time. Amen. Thank God for prayer. Amen. Amen. Would you turn your Bibles to, uh, let's see what we're going to start at. The, uh, the book. I have two here. The book of Romans, amen. Let's begin at, at chapter 11, amen. The book of Romans, chapter 11, amen. We, we've had a good, challenging week that God has brought us through, amen. 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 How many of you know that it was God's grace that brought you through this past week? Come on, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only by the grace of God. Yes, Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 11, and then we're going to go back to Romans chapter 5. Praise God. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we come before you with thanksgivings in our hearts. Amen. Thank you for this day. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. We don't take anything for granted, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you. They are new every morning. Yes, 
Hey, thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Your grace is enough for us. Your grace is sufficient. God, thank you for your grace. Thank you, thank you for this building. Yes, thank you. This prayer house, amen. Yes, this house of prayer that you've given to us to come together and to fellowship with one another and to worship God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your people. Thank you for those that are here. Thank you for those that are yet on their way. Oh, God, bring them here safe and sound. Now, Lord, bless us with your word. Bless us with freedom, with your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way. Mold us and make us in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand upon us, Father. Hey, have your way with us today. God, just a few of us, help us to praise you. Help us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Help us to be on one accord so that we can hear the spirit of the Lord, so that we can feel your presence and know that you're here with us. Thank you for praise your name. We know you're here, Father. Just have your way. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. We exalt you. We lift you up in the name of Jesus. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him in the name of Jesus. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord going to have his way, church. He's going to have his way. Amen. Look with me at Romans chapter 11. If you might not have a Bible, there's some Bibles back there on the, uh, on the balance back there. Romans chapter 11. Look with me at two verses in Romans chapter 11, verses 5 and 6. Amen. And as we said, we're going to go back to Romans chapter 5. Amen. 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 So happy to see you, saints. Amen. 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 Pastor James Jr. wanted me to let you know that he worked last night and just got off at 4.30 this morning. And so he's going to try to get some rest. Amen. That's a, that's a hard shift. Amen. And dealing with those streets. Amen. So let's pray for him. Amen. Pray for his protection. Pray that God will guide and direct his heart, his thoughts even from afar. God protect him. Protect him, Lord. Protect his wife. They're working for the city, Father. Protect him. In the name of Jesus. Cover him with your blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, praise God. Come on, praise God. Maybe I need to start praying for all of the police officers in the nations. I've been praying for the officers here in Flint and praying for the officers in Detroit. Amen. Amen. That God would protect them. Whether you know it or not, that's, that's a challenging job. Amen. And dealing with people. Yes, sir. And dealing with some people just don't want to do right. Amen. 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 Right. And, and, and so, see, everybody, whether we know it or not, the Bible teaches us that everybody is not God's children. That's right. Satan has some children also. Right. Amen. And so we want to pray for them while they're out there. The book of Romans chapter 13 says that they are the ministers of God. Amen. They are the ministers of God. And God used them, amen, to bring balance in the earth. And, and, and you know, as I know, we would be in a whole lot of trouble if we didn't have them. We wouldn't be able to go outdoors. Talking about stopping at a gas station. None of that, amen. Going to the store, they are here to protect us. And so let's pray for them, amen. Amen. Can't say enough on that subject, but let's pray for them. Romans chapter 11, verses 5 and 6. 
I want to commend the praise team. Thank you for doing a good job. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Lifting God up. Amen. In song. See, that's, that's ministering to our soul. Amen. The music of God. Amen. Verse 5. If you have it, just say amen. Amen. Romans 11 and 5. Paul said, even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Y'all see that? Note, note, note your attention, the election of grace. It says, even so then, Paul says, at this present time. So even when he wrote that, God used that text for that time, and God, the Holy Spirit, is so much wisdom, he has so much wisdom, he's using it for this day and time also. So Paul says, even so then, at this what? Present time. Also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And I think the Apostle John, in the book of Revelation, talks about that remnant. 144,000. Amen. 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 144,000 Jews that have received Christ and believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And that 144,000 is going to be saved. And that's the election here Paul is talking about. Look at verse 6. The writer says, And if by what? Grace. grace. Somebody say grace. Grace. I want to share with you this morning from this theme, the free gift. The free gift. Verse 6. And if by grace, then is it no more of works. Y'all see that? So let's, let's not get, get grace mixed up with works. For we are saved by what? Grace. That not of ourselves, it is what? The gift of God. Amen. Huh? Not of works? Lest any man should boast. Amen? Amen? And if by grace, then is it no more of works. Paul says, otherwise, grace is no more what? Grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Now let's follow up on that text. Go back to Romans chapter 5. And let's see what Paul is talking about. Romans chapter 5. Amen. Amen. We're going to begin reading at verse 17. The free gift. Verse 17 of Romans chapter 5, Paul said, For if by one man's offense, death reign, that word reign is rule, to rule, amen? So I'm going to be using the word rule. For if by one man's offense, death ruled by one, you see that? Much more, is that what he said? Much more, they which receive abundance of grace, and of the gift of righteousness shall rule in life by one who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. I better read that again. For if by one man's offense death reign the rule by one. Who's that man? Adam. Amen. 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 Paul says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and come short or fall short of what? Of the glory of God. Amen. And so that's what Paul was talking about here. Paul was not talking about when he says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. He's not talking about any sin that they had committed or that we have committed. He's talking about the bloodstream of Adam. What Adam passed down to us. Every one of us that came into the world 
and came forth out of our mother's womb. We came forth as a what? Sinner. Huh? And that's why the Bible teaches us we need to get back to God. There's nothing that we did, amen. Adam did it for us. And so we need to get back to God. And so when you witness to that brother or that sister out there, that boy or that girl, let them know that if they don't have Christ, they need to come back to God. Amen. And they're going to be saying, well, I never was with God. And so you need to explain to them the fallen Adam, what Adam passed down to all men, for all have fallen short of the glory of God. And then in the Psalms, this, Psalms number 51, David says in verse 5, he says, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother what? Conceive me. Amen. See that? Amen. David is praying a prayer and asking God to have mercy upon him for the sin that he had committed. So he wanted, he wanted to remind God what was in him from birth. Amen. Behold, I was shaped. I better voice, I better obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. I, I'm not going to quote that. Go back to Psalms chapter 51. And we'll come back to Romans 5. Amen. Somebody may need to see that. Amen. Amen. Psalm 51, verse 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. Paul says in Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. You see verse 5 yes, in Psalms 51? Yes, what verse 5 say? Come on, read it with me. Behold, Behold I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. He's not blaming his mother for anything. He's not blaming his father for anything. Amen. He's saying to God, you know what was wrong with me. You know what really made me go and get another man's wife and lay with her. You know what moved me to do that. You know what motivated me to do that. Behold, I was shaping iniquity. Amen. Now he's not making excuses for his sin. Amen. Because he said in verse 1, have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy what? Loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Blot out my transgression. So he's not making excuses. He's just saying to God, Behold, look, I was shaping in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. Now read verse 10 with me. Come on, read verse 10. What does it say? Create. Come on, let's read together. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. See that? King David. Of all Israel. Over three million people. The king is saying to God. Do something in me that have never been done before. Hallow mighty. The first word tells us that. The first word create. Any time you create something. That means that it was not there. It was never there. God, do something in my heart. Do something in my soul. Give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Hey, and I never will do it again. Come on, give God some praise up in here. Praise him. Look at verse, verse 11 and verse 12. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Read verse 12 with me. Come on. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Come on. And uphold me with thy free spirit. Create in me. Lord, create in me a clean heart. Hey, create in me a new heart. Create in me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit. Another translation says, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Give me a steadfast spirit. I will never go back and commit that sin again. Hey, God, if you give me a new heart. 
Come on, praise him. Praise him. I never would do it again. Mm. Go back to Romans chapter 5. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise your name. Church God is so good. Hallelujah. If we don't enjoy the word of God, something wrong with us. The word of God will tell us everything about ourselves that we need to know. Hey! St. John chapter 8, verse 31, and you shall know the truth. And verse 33, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's what the word will do. And so look what Paul is saying in Romans chapter 5. Hallelujah. Verse 17 again. Say, thank God for the word. Thank God for the word. For if by one man's offense or sin, death reigned the room by one. That's Adam. What did he say in those two words? Much more. Somebody say much more. In other words, grace the free gift. Grace is always more powerful than sin. Y'all yeah. praise God on that one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Grace is all, always. Yes, sir. Praise I asked my wife yesterday. She was going through the house doing different things. I said, can you be a sounding board for a few minutes? Maybe about two minutes. And I said to her, she said, what does that mean? I said, let, 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 let me ask you a question. I say, what about Sister Whitney Houston? And people were calling me and asking me a question. Do you believe she was saved? And I gave them an intelligent answer because I didn't want to get into a debate with me. Because any time somebody asks you that question, they have already put themselves in a position of judgment. Amen. 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 And so I gave them an intelligent answer. I said, that's between her and God. Yes, but I asked my wife yesterday, I say, uh, what about grace? Mm -hmm. An individual believe in God mm -hmm. and ask Jesus Christ to come into their heart as Lord and Savior. But they got a weakness in the flesh. And because of that weakness, of the flesh, their life is cut short. Why is their life cut short? Because of Galatians 6 and 7. God is not mocked for whatsoever what? A man sow it, that shall he reap. Verse 8, if you sow to the flesh, you shall reap corruption. That's what verse 8 said. But if you sow to the spirit, you will reap what? Life everlasting. You can check that out sometime. For whatsoever we sow it, that shall we reap. But I said to her, even though an individual has weakness in the flesh, and they and they allow that flesh to make them or to entice them or to motivate them to do things that they should not be doing. And so when they do that, they cut their life short. And I asked her, where's grace? You see the weakness of the flesh and what they were doing did not affect the soul yes, and the spirit. Y'all better watch that now. Because grace, let me read something for you. Grace was already there. Look what it said. It says the average believer doesn't have a clear understanding of the grace of God. Look what it says. It's called the free gift. One writer says, now listen, there. you better jot this down. One writer says, the free gift, which is grace, exceeds the consequences of sin. Amen. My Lord. I better read that again. Yes, sir. The free gift, that's grace, right? Mm -hmm. The free gift exceeds the consequences of sin. The key word in that statement is the word exceed. Amen. Let me read it again. Think about it, meditate upon it. The free gift exceeds the consequences of sin. And let me read it for you. Verse 15. You're already there in Romans chapter 5. Look at verse 15. 
Paul says, but not as the offense. So also is the free gift. Y'all see that? But not as the offense. So also is the free gift. I bet slow down. For if through the offense of one, many be what? Dead. That's Adam, amen. Here it is again. Much more. Somebody say much more. Much yeah. more. Here comes grace, y'all. Much more. The grace of God. And the gift by grace. What is the gift by grace? Salvation. <laughs> Much more. The grace of God. And the gift by grace. Which is by what? One man. Who? Come on, y'all say his name. Who? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Much more. The grace of God. And the gift by grace. Which is by one man. Who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Y'all, something wrong, something wrong in here. Y'all don't want to call that name? Let, let, let me do it again. Much more, the grace of God and the gift of grace, that's salvation, which is by who? One man, Jesus Christ. Somebody say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Had abound unto many. Verse 17. Again. For if by one man's offense death ruled by one, much more they which received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall rule in life by one who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Don't you tell me that sin has, no, has more power than grace. Grace will always exceed the consequences of sin. If grace did not exceed the consequences of sin, I wouldn't be here today. Come on, y'all. Praise God. Now, I'm going to get real with it. You wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't be here today. Why? Because I just quoted it a while ago. Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and fall short and come short of the glory of God. That's us, y'all. The free gift, grace, exceeds the consequences of sin. One more verse. Look at verse 20. Moreover, the law what? Entered. Come on, y'all. That what? That the offense might what? Might abound. Come on, read it with me. What? But where sin abound, grace did much more abound. Give God some praise. And I said to my wife, 14 million people Hallelujah. were watching that funeral on television. And I don't know how many presidents was there in that church building, but four, they, they averaged 14 million people watched their funeral on television. And I said to my wife yesterday, I said, there was a dichotomy in the room. And she said, what? I said, there was a dichotomy in the room. And I say, there was an elephant in the room. An elephant, a huge elephant, something that's blocking the people's view. I don't mind. They blocked, their view was blocked. We so, we're so caught up in judgment of one another that our view is blocked. That we, for, we think of so much about sin that we forget about grace. Yes, Amen. Come on, y'all. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. God sent me to a, an area in the city of Detroit back in 1987 when I first started with the Salvation Army. And they was getting ready to close the place up. And they wanted me to go there and try to help. And God gave me that verse, Sister Duncan. I mean, it was a community, Brother Duncan. You talking about some crime. You talking about games, all kind of games, and, and thieves and robbers. And God gave me verse 20, Romans chapter 5, where sin abound, grace did much more abound. How almighty. And God turned that place around because of grace. Y'all give God some praise. Because of grace. Nothing we have done. No works. Ain't about nothing about us. We ain't about nothing. 
Only by the grace of God. Somebody say only by the grace of God. Only by the grace of God. I saw people coming to the altar in numbers and falling down and asking God for forgiveness and receive Christ into their heart as Lord. I saw that happening. Why? Because we're seeing a bound. Grace did much more abound. Well, praise God. Come on, give God some praise. Praise God. So Paul says in the text, in verse 18, Romans chapter 5, verse 18, Therefore, as by the offense of one, one judgment came upon who? All men. To what? To condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the what? The what? Say it again, the what? The free gift came upon all men. <laughs> the free gift came upon all men unto justification of what? Of life. I think we better close it out right there. Look, 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 at, look at Romans chapter 8. Start in verse 1. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey! Praise God. Y'all ready? Romans chapter 8, come on. There is what? Therefore, now what? No condemnation to them which are where? In Christ Jesus. When you're in Christ, you're in a safe place. Come on, praise him. There is therefore now. Paul says now, right now. No condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. What does it say? Who what? who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now here it is in verse 2. Verse 2 is a reference from Romans chapter 5, verse 18. Read verse 2 with me. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Oh, praise God. The spirit of God has a law. And that law that the Spirit of God has is only there for one reason, to give you life. Hallelujah. Hey, to give us life. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. I ain't going to say no more about it, but listen to this. Once God gives us life, you think he's going to take it away? Come on, give God some praise. Jesus said in his, in his high priestly prayer in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 17. Now, you talking about the Lord's Prayer. That was the Lord's Prayer. Jesus said to his Father, They which you have given me, I have lost none. Hey! Hey! We was in that number. I say we was in that number. We was in that prayer that he prayed. He said, Father, they which you have given me, I have lost none, except the son of prediction. Yeah. Talking about Jesus who betrayed God. Yeah. And it was already predicted in the Old Testament prophets that he would be the one yeah. that betrayed Jesus. Yeah. In other words, he was already lost before he got here. Yeah. Now I ain't going to get into that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But even him right. had a choice. Before, devil, before the devil got kicked out of heaven, he had a choice. Yes. And Jesus said, I saw him fall like lightning. Yes. Quick, just like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yay! For the law of the spirit of life in Romans 82. For the law of the spirit, for the law, listen, look at that preposition of phrase. For the law, what? Of the spirit. Put the emphasis on the spirit of God. For the law of the spirit of what? Of life. In where? In Christ Jesus. Come on. Had made me free from the law of sin and death. Read verse 3 with me. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. We will never be able to accomplish what he accomplished on that cross. Look at Jesus. Somebody say, look at Jesus. Hey, 
hung there on that cross. But the reason the Holy Spirit told me to go there because he enjoyed the free gift of grace. Grace kept him. Grace helped him to endure that cross. Hey, thank God for his grace. And like we today, if somebody have offended you, grace help him to say, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Praise God. Thank God for Jesus. God bless you, church family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You talking about God's grace. Hey. Nothing <laughs> but the grace of God. As pastors say, all that, come on, y'all, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You know, I wouldn't give nothing for my journey. Hallelujah. I see the end. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And the end of a holy life is always better than the life itself. Yes, sir. Somebody wrote a song one of these days, and it won't be long. Hey, I'm not hot. You're going to look for me and I'm going to be up out of here. Huh? See, to God, ain't but one. You know, you know who's watching over your children while they are not here? <laughs> oh, you pray hard, you cry, you fast, but that's all right, but to God be the glory for the things that we don't even know he's doing. That's right. See, God don't want you considering the destination of your children Amen. because that ain't your business. Amen. Huh? When you pray, you look at me now. When you pray for your children, you put them in the hand of God. Amen. Amen. What, who do you think can get inside the oh, what? You better wake up in here. We serve a mighty Savior. And the psalm say he's in the world right now. Huh? That's right. Thank you, Jesus. It, it would be a good, yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's a friend, friend, friend. He's a friend, friend, friend. He's a friend, friend, friend. What's his name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now, before the technician fixed the sound system, when I get to that last part, it would fade out. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But you can hear it now. Thank God for the technician. Yeah. Come on. Come on. See, see, I have learned in my old age. Don't think, don't take no thing for granted. Come on. Come on. If it's good, God's in it. If it ain't good, God what? He ain't in it. That's the gospel right there. Huh? 
Somebody wrote a song when I woke up this morning. My mind was stayed. Hey, come on, y'all tell me, hey, my mind was stayed. On Jesus. And this song said, Hallelujah. 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 We show Miss Paulette when she was gone. Amen. When when someone ain't in the family, I know they be taking care of God, but I know she was praying. I know all about that, but her place is here, man. You, 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 I wouldn't look right if you just saw them little four fingers there. Huh? Amen. And to that statement, Yes, sir. I say to God. To God. To God be what? To God. Yes, sir. To God be the glory. And I just had a vision. God's eyes is going out like that. He's seeking our children. He want them bad. Hey, he want them bad. So much that he died to save him. God, God is a good old como. God is mucho bueno, makna vi vanduba. God is a good God. Well, mine is. And let me see if I can make some records here. Well, he woke me up this morning. And he started me. On his way. Not on mine. Because just the other day when I woke up, I went and we're done my thing. But when I woke up this before I woke up this morning. Amen. See, you my family, so I can talk to you. I had a vision. A snake was in my attic. And a friend would get me down in the living room. And I heard some And I looked up in that attic, and a cobra, you know, when a cobra get angry, his head spreads like that. He was strung out like that. I took a butcher knife, and I did a job on that snake. Amen. Now, now, it ain't your business who that snake is. Amen. Amen. But you know where he was living, upstairs. In my house. Amen. But I took the son of my call, the sword of the spirit. Yes, sir. I took good care of that snake. Amen. I cut his head off. Amen. I don't have to go in detail. Amen. It wasn't my wife, she lived downstairs. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the Lord will show you stuff? Yeah. But but you know you can't tell everybody what the Lord show you because they, yeah. they think you crazy. I saw that snake. I saw that sword. I saw me cut him in half. Amen. And then I, hey, now I heard God say, now will you give me the glory? <laughs> huh? Now yeah. will you give me? The glory. There is no enemy that we have can come as this the author of this book. No devil can stand in the presence of God. The devil that's trying to take your babies, he lose. Did, did, didn't you hear pastor said the, the, the devil was a devil before there was a devil he always been a devil and before you had your children and your children had their children had their children children the plan of salvation was put in place come on here and we talk too much about what we want God to do for our children because the scriptures say Jesus Christ the same, what? Yes. Yesterday, what? Today. Today and tomorrow. Then we have another scripture. Nothing is too hard 
Hey, nothing is too hard for God. My subject is sinless perfection. Turn your Bibles to Ephesians 2. I asked Paulette how to cut the ring off my phone so I could use it for a clock. And she told me so I could sit here now and don't worry about it ringing. Where does that fit in the scripture? Will you help us? What? You, you better get that done. Amen. Now, never mind. I, I, I mean mine also and also. We need one another. Now let me tell you something. <clears throat> Inside this building is a judgment-free zone. Amen. Outside this building, you can do what you want. Glory. <clears throat> but inside this building, St. John 3.16 comes alive. Amen. God so loved, yeah, it's in the book, man. It's in the book. God so loved the world, the one that we criticize. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's go. Amen. Yep. God loved the world so much. He gave his only father son, the Lord Jesus. Now don't underestimate this because you heard it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. It's still truth. Yeah. Whosoever Help me with it. You call what? Upon the name of the Lord, what? Shall, <clears throat> Shall be saved. Amen. Now, the basic thing of all things is salvation. Amen. Free at last. Which means before now we wouldn't. Yes, no. Free at last. Where does the glory go? Thank what? Thank God. God Almighty, what? I am free at last. Take the offering and go on. There ain't nothing else. I got one Bible student coming on Thursday nights earning his doctor's degree. Just one. And he's surprised what it feel like trying to get a doctor's degree. He said, oh. <laughs> I didn't know I had that. Look at here. I don't give nothing away. If you get a doctor's degree here, the first thing you got to do, humble your what? Self. self. I'll never give you a piece of paper. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that what? He might exalt you in due time. In this Bible, Ephesians 2. See, I let the preachers preach and I teach Ephesians 2 and 1. And you had he quickened. Quicken me to wake up. Who did he wake up? Those that were what? Dead in trespasses and sin. Well, this is different. Trespass means keep on going against God and that is sin. Wherein, look at how we used to be. This is a book of life here, you see. Before I left home, you need to listen to God, see. Amen. Lord said, James, take your umbrella with you. Now, is it raining outside? Amen. That's the kind of God we serve. Nothing can sneak up on a shown up saint. Amen. And that don't make you special. The one that gives you the specialty is the specialist. What's his name? She. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Now, keep the scripture simple. Here's a scripture. As a man think, 
What? In his heart. What? So is he. So what am I supposed to put in your heart? The word of what? God. And you start thinking on God. You become a child of God. Now when you become a child of God, you become a target. When you have faith in Christ Jesus, look like all hell come against you. But the Bible says you got a hiding place. What's his name? Man, name, man, come on. What's his name? In Jesus Christ, I live, I move, what? And have my being. I live inside Jesus Christ. Now, this is the gospel. Now, there ain't no confusion in Jesus. Now, I was talking to a professor a few minutes ago. I told him, there ain't no confusion in God's church. And she said, amen. amen. But that's, that don't mean ain't no confusion around us in the church. Amen. Amen. But the confusion is not in the spiritual church. It's in the physical church, this building. But have you heard about the power of the Holy Ghost? Have you heard about the power of the Holy Ghost? I was born and raised down south. People wash on the rub board, had soap on it, called lye soap. Make it out of oil, cook it. And they put soap on us clothes, you know. And I seen my grandmother wash heavy overhauls with her hand on a washboard called a rub board. Then you take it out of the washing water where all the soap is, and you put it in the thin water to rinse the soap off. Then when you get the soap off, they have water called bluing water. You take it out, then you rinse all the stuff out of it. Then you hang it on the line. Amen. Look now, and let the sun Amen. deal with it. Y'all didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that. I said, and let the sun So what is that problem do we have? Take your faith, wash it. Take your joy and rinse it. Take your hope and take it in the blue and water. Then look at me now and learn. And hang it up, look, in the sun. What's his name? Jesus. He'll do it. Amen. His job is to make that wrong thing what? Right. Huh? To make that crooked thing what? We can't do that. That's his job. And when we try to do it, we get all frustrated. Even when we start telling lies to God, be the glory, well, then try to lose. I told you the story about I was a handkerchief, you know, in there. But I was pretty clean handkerchief, you know. But uh, I had a knot in me. Not like that. See? And, and God will take you and pull you through Jesus. And what's not like Jesus won't come through. Are y'all listening listen to me? If it ain't like God, it ain't coming through. Amen. So the Holy Ghost job. Laws that do it right. Are oh, y'all learning anything in here? Amen. And then before you put it on the line, you. That was me. I had a hard time. I know you got saved at the pop of a finger, but I had a hard time coming to Jesus. Because the devil told me, you got this, you got this, you got a brand new car, you, you, 
you see that and she and you got her and and you got him and and the devil never told me he had me. How come he can't tell the truth? Because the truth will do what? Make you free. He can't tell the truth. He's a liar. I say he's a liar. But let me show you. Now. Let me show you how God will act. Just before I got ready to go to church, my wife was in the bed and her foot was hanging out like that. And there was this. All right, she can pull it back when she get ready. Whatever the devil tell you not to do, let that be what you do. Amen. Don't try to make it make sense. If you say yes, you know it's wrong. If you say it's wrong, you know it's right. So whatever the devil try to get you to do what? Flip it over. Amen. I love the Lord, he heard my cry. Love. See, 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 down there in more churches, it be raining, they like that, be raining, birds up there in the ceiling, you know, and mosquitoes hitting you, you know, trying to. But somehow or another, they had enough common sense to let God be God. Or oh, they didn't know the scriptures we know, and they don't know the song we know, and they. Can't sing in the choir like we sing, and couldn't play a saxophone like me, and couldn't play a piano like my brother, and they couldn't sing like noble Sicily. But that old pastor had, if she lay her hands on you, oh, you had to go down. She didn't just knock you down, and you gone. Pow. Now, Jesus said, out of his own mouth, he only had one, I am come that you might have what? Life. life. And that you might have that life what? More abundantly. More abundantly. You might increase in holiness. Okay. I'm come to save you and sanctify you. On, Step one, get saved. Step two, Get sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Step three, study. Yes, sir. Don't go yet. You ain't ready to go yet. Mm -hmm. Friend of mine didn't know nothing. Went to get a job, city bus. And he thought if he knew the route and go around the route fast and get back quick, he did his job. <laughs> <clears throat> so when he got back to the depot, the man looked in that thing where you put the money, there wasn't no money in there. He said, how did I do? He said, you fired. <laughs> he, I, he said, I told you I was a good driver. I didn't make no stops, I got right back quick. <laughs> what does the Bible say? First, sit down. And what? Cut up the cost. If you're going to drive for Jesus, you got to pick up somebody. Hey, you, you didn't get that. I said, if you're going to drive. Hey, come on Saturday. If you're going to head up, I'll cut it in the car. If you're going to drive for Jesus, you got to pick up somebody. And say, Lord, I brought him here in your name. Now, how he react to the call, that's his business. Somebody called here this morning. I, I, I told Paul, I said, that boy in the choir, he look like he's tall like your son. She said, he might be a little taller. He left here and said, I'm going to get my girlfriend, and we're coming back next Sunday. Amen. Hell messed up. Look, don't look at the outward appearance. Because God look at what? That's why Jesus lived in the heart of man. Do you know when they got ready to crucify Jesus? Listen to me now and learn. 
the first thing they had to do, listen, is derobe him. Strip him buck naked. These are the clothes of praise. Take them and put golden things upon him and bow down to him as if they were worshiping him. They were making fun of our Savior. Amen. When they got through making fun of him, they put his real clothes back upon him and beat him till he wasn't recognizable as a man. But he came up. Amen. Took him three days. Saved every soul in hell and every soul on the earth then and every soul that will ever be on the earth in three days. And like the preacher said, when he came up, he came up boasting. I'm up. What else did he say? In all power is in my hand. Then he gave a universal invitation, not just a miracle invitation. He said, whosoever will. He wasn't talking to the lost people. He was talking to Satan. Whosoever will, Satan, loose him in. Let him come and drink the waters of life. What? Freely. This is the water and bread of life. Amen. In this Bible stand the salvation of your children and your children, 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 children. I came here with B.B. King, Little Richard, and Barbara Bland, and all them kind of folk. And my uncle told me, I joined the Baptist church, so-called, see? And my uncle told me, you, you, maybe you ought to leave this alone. You ain't going to never be saved. That ain't what you tell your nephew. That ain't what you tell the people. Jesus said, lay down your burden. Pick up your cross. And follow me. Now Jesus came out of hell, but he was on his way to heaven. What did I just say? You got to go through hell yeah. to get to what? Yeah. Heaven. Yeah. No cross? What? Yeah. No cross. Yeah. I'm crying now. Ain't nobody pinching me. <laughs> hey, I know this is true stuff, boy. Yeah. And I read in the newspaper and I see on my cell phone sometimes so and so died, he was 69, and so and so died, he was 71. <laughs> I don't never see nobody in there. And he died, he was 85. Look like they died before they get to the ripe old age. How did I get to be 85? God said, with long life, will I what? Satisfy you and show you what? My salvation. I'm enjoying it. Hey! I'm enjoying it. You know them so-called football players, you know them big football players, them guards, man, they, their job is to, look, to pre protect the one that got the ball. He's called a quarterback. And he got his eye on those ends over there. But they got a whole line of men over here to try to prevent him, look, from throwing this ball. And it's so serious, the one that they think going to catch the ball, they tackle that one. Huh? That's what happened to us. We were tackled. Look, by the hurt, heavy burden. And a need a load of yes, heavy care. Amen. But Jesus. Yes, sir. 
but Jesus. See, I'm learning how to obey. See, I'm supposed to stop at 1 o'clock. It's 1246. So which means, I mean, how many minutes I got? 120? No. Maybe I made a mistake here. It's 1247. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 45, 56, 57, 8, 59, 60, 51, 52. So I got an hour and 50. I can't tell good time by this clock. But the day will come when you can throw that clock down. And you hear a voice. He ain't going to be talking loud like me. He's going to say, come up here. Now I can remember. I could do that and I couldn't hear nothing. God sent a technician here. Now. Do you hear what I hear? God. The word of God, God. coming down to the church yes. to save all our souls. Yes, Can you hear who I hear? Yes, come, come, drink the waters of life. What? Free. This book, this Bible, it's called the bread of life. Amen. If you're exposed to this word, the author of this word will come into your heart. His name is Jesus. When he come in, now you listen to me, because people are teaching lies these days. If you got sin in your heart, when you let Jesus come in, that sin got to go. Amen. Jesus will not share your soul with Satan. Amen. You're either free on your way to heaven or you're in bondage on your way to hell. Amen. Amen. But I know a man. Amen. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. He said, I am come that you might have what? Life. You might have that life what? More abundant. He came to fix it for you. He came. Hey. He came to fix it for you. Now, now those books say he's not a respecter of person. What he did for you, he ought to anybody that you love. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold him to it. Yes, sir. Now, Lord, you said, if I live right, mm -hmm. then fill in that blank. Yes, Lord. You, you said you say my children, my children, children, and my children, children, ten generations. Yes, sir. You, you ain't got ten generations yet. And when you get there, he'll have another. He, the, the, the Lord said, if a man sin 50 times, will you forgive me? He said, yeah. He said, if I can find 15 people out there, yes, sir. that's holy. Come on. Will you let them in? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to test God now. If I can find five yes, sir. out of these thousands, mm -hmm. will you let them in? He said, yeah. He just kept on going. He said, what about one? If I find one, will you let him in? Uh -huh. He said, yeah. Amen. He said, haven't you heard whosoever will? Mm -hmm. Let him come and drink mm -hmm. the waters of life freely. Mm -hmm. Haven't you heard that I am not a respecter of person. Mm -hmm. 
I got nine minutes. I can say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Then I can start telling you, he's my friend. He's my children friend. He's my wife friend. He's my husband friend. He's a friend to the unfriendly. He's a keeper. He's a healer. Let me see now. I got eight minutes. He's a friend that stick closer than a brother. He owns the rain. And I was born right down south. If you got to chop that grass and pick that cotton, you'd be so glad when it rained. Yeah. How come? You can come out of the field and rest. But when you get home, Grandma said, go out there and pull up some weeds and give it. I said, don't you see it raining out of town? Because I didn't say it, I just thought it. So by the time you go out and pull up the weed and take it to the hawk, it stopped raining. Just when you get in the house and go in the corner where Grandma told you to sit when it's lightning, and you look at your grandmama, she look at the door and you look at the the hole, the thing you and oh so my grandmother had a son, you see, her name Roscoe. And uh, my grandmother said, Go out there and you see that wood that wood out there, go go out there and, and cut that wood. Do you see that wood? <clears throat> he said, Yeah. He said, I can see that wood, but I ain't gonna saw that wood. My grandma said, come here. He said, I saw it. He said, no, no, I saw it. You see that stick over there? He went over and got a little stick about this big. She said, no, I ain't talking about that one. <laughs> Roscoe was 19 years old. We had overhauls. You could take a button in the back and let the backside down. <laughs> grandma said, let me see it. Roscoe said, Grandma, I'm 90. I'm 19 years old. She said, let me see the 19-year-old part. Now, Grandpa was sitting over there to make sure he showed it. Because Grandpa, he just come up and knock you out on any part of you can get to. Grandma going to whip you on the part you sit on. So I went to high school, you know, sitting like this. Cool, you know, all the other kids sitting like this. My mama, I was in the 12th grade. Whip my behind. Now, let's just talk about this now. What does the Bible say? Spare the rod. And what? You, you better obey this book. You better obey this book. So what are people doing now? They're studying the Bible online. That's pretty good if you're sick, if you're crippled, if you can't drive, if you live in the country, if you can't get to church. But this Bible said, don't fail the assembling of yourself together like those other people did. So don't sit at home. I got five minutes. Don't sit at home and think you can wash church. A lot of people do that because when you come to church, they're going to pass a plate called an offering plate. Now, they ain't offering you the plate. <laughs> uh, they want you to put something in that offering plate. Because let me tell you something. Now, I'm a pastor here, see? And as soon as it get cold, the gas bill here is between $1,300 and $1,600 a month. Of course, you got to keep the heat on. Who knows? The pipe's going to work. Buzz. So when it get cold, come to church. 
and put something to the in the basket. I'm teaching you the truth about me now. When I join the Church of God in my robes and they take the offering, I go up and put my hand in the offering plate. That's the only thing I had, my hand. Amen. Within three months, I was the biggest tither in that church. Because Sister Reese said, come here, boy, I need down here. Put her hands on my head and said, Lord, get this here, boy, a job. Tell him go out here and get to one of them things, the application. God blessed me. And I started putting it back, putting it back. How do you think I got to be 85 years old? Obeying God. Look, give, and it shall be given to you. Amen. Press down, what? Shaking together, and what? Run it over. I am rich. Now that house is in land. I ain't got the whole world in my hand, no. I'm rich in love and mercy and joy and hope and long suffering. Somebody was talking to the church and we standing back there crying, talking about how folk treat us, you know, but a cross don't feel good. Know this, one of these days, you're going to lay that cross down. And what you're going to pick up? A crown. I got two minutes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love you, love you, love you. I love you, love you, love you. I love you, love you, love you. What is name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you. Who are we singing to? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's a friend, friend, friend. He's a friend, friend, friend. He's a friend, friend, friend. What's his name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. One thirty second. I'm Pastor Dr. James Sorry, L. Wheeler. I can't quite hear you. Could you please repeat what you said? I thought you spoke to be silent. Shut up. Okay, I'll take Here's that too. When things interfere with you, look, just take it and cover it up, but better with the word of God. Put the word on everything that come against you. Are you listening to me? Now we test that phone back there. It wasn't supposed to be able to say nothing. Because I got this little thing turned down here. But just like the devil would try to make a way to interfere with your praises. Are you over the age of 25 and you haven't graduated from high school? Are you over the age of 30 and you're having problems with basic reading and math calculations? And you need to return to school but you're afraid of the traditional classroom setting? Are you over the age of 50 and you're having problems finding a job because you don't know how to use a computer? But don't worry, T Adult Skills Center is here for you. We work with adults age 25 years of age and older in basic reading, math, GD prep, and computer training. Free book is an adventure waiting to come to life. Visit new worlds. Encounter.
encounter new friends and discover the power of reading. Go to read.gov to read A Princess of Mars, the first novel to feature John Carter. A new world awaits. Read. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Alicia Sims, made in Flint and proud of it. Baby. I'm Quincy Brooks and I'm made in Flint and proud of it. We're, we're, we're the, the Cochran's, Cochran's and, and we're, we're made in Flint, Flint and, and we're, we're proud, proud of it. <laughs> Made in Flint and proud of it. Milas Cardo, I'm made here right in Flint and I'm very proud of it. Jesse Edwards Johnson, I'm made in Flint and proud of Michelle it. Michelle Thompson, and I'm making it in Flint and I'm proud of it. Kimberly Thomas, I was made in Flint and I'm proud of it. Naira Sharif, made in Flint and proud of it. Vern Ross, I'm made in Flint and I'm proud of it. Every book is an adventure waiting to come to life. Visit new worlds. Encounter new friends. And discover the power of reading. Go to read.gov to read A Princess of Mars, the first novel to feature John Carter. A new world awaits. Read. Can you come sit with me? Imagine what you'd see if every child had a book to read. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition.